Welcome, Welcome back to BT. Dina Pugliese, Sid Sixero. It's a Thursday. Glad you're along with us. It's hard enough paying attention around here. There's distractions. How about four Toronto grads who scored an average of, wait for it, 100% this past school year? 100. Are you me? <clears throat> uh, we have all four of them joining us right now here on Breakfast Television. So when I say your name and where you're from, just give us a wave so we know who you're talking about. I want to say hello to Maya Dempsey. She is a graduate of Bishop Allen Academy and achieved a 100% average in advanced placement program. Maya, congratulations and welcome. Martina Gasparro is a graduate of Father John Redmond Catholic Secondary School and Regional Arts Center, achieved 100% average in advanced placement program. Martina, welcome. Good morning. Congratulations. Sarah Maldorova is a graduate of Father John Redmond Catholic Secondary School Regional Arts Center, 100% average in advanced placement. And last but certainly not least, Stephanie Staibano. I uh, hope I got that right, Steph. Uh, a graduate of Bishop Allen Academy and achieved 100% in advanced placement. I want to give you all applause Woo! one more time. That is awesome. Are you I, kidding me? I got a 50 in grade 10 math. I was that terrible. Happened. I was God terrible. God bless all of you. Grade 11 chemistry was rough. That's great. Uh, let's start with you, Maya. First of all, congratulations to you all. This is unbelievable. And what a crazy year it was to not even be at school physically. So what was it that kept you going and kept you disciplined to do so well? Yeah, I mean, it was definitely an adjustment at first, switching to an entirely new way of learning. Um, but I think we were so supported by everyone, our families. Um, I know my parents were great, my friends, especially our teachers. Um, they were so available and um, they really went out of their way to make sure that we felt as confident and connected as possible in a remote environment. And I think ultimately it was just wanting to make the most out of my last year in high school that really kept me motivated. Martina, did, did this surprise you how awesome you were or were you expecting to be totally awesome? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I was surprised. I'll be honest. Um, I wasn't really expecting to get like that email that says you got a hundred percent. No, I wasn't expecting that. I was just kind of, um, trying to do my best. And like Maya said, just trying to make, um, the best out of my last year, really. But I was surprised. I was very surprised. Sarah, I'm going to ask you the, the same question because I know my sister, she would get like 98, 99. My parents would go, where's the other 1%? Where's the other 2%? <laughs> so was it you that was driving this motivation? Was it your, you know, was it family in your ear? And how did you stay so disciplined to get that 100% over and over again? Give us a tip. Sarah, can you hear us? We might oh. be having some difficulty. Sarah, you got us? Yep, I can hear you. Hi, Sarah. So give us, give everybody at home a tip for next year. One so study tip. So for me, it was a mix of everything. It was definitely my parents in my ear asking, where's the one or two percent left? <laughs> <laughs> but then it was also just like having the support of my sister, my friends from school, and like Maya said, the teachers were incredible. And for me, a big factor is also competition. Mm. My boyfriend, he is also really smart, and I always wanted to be that little bit better than him. I love it. <laughs> so that, that's what that's where I strive. Out of curiosity, at, Sarah, what at, was his what was his percentage? <laughs> you're willing to say he got five hundreds and one ninety nine. Whoa! Take so, that, Sarah's boyfriend. So take close, that. Sarah's boyfriend. You ain't rolling like that, bud. Thank you, Sarah, for sharing. Poor I didn't guy. think you were going to. God bless you. Poor guy. Uh, Stephanie, how do, how do you do this? If you're, if, I mean, we got a lot of young people that watch this show. What is the biggest tip you could give anyone on staying di this discipline, on getting to 100? What's the most important thing, aside from intelligence, which you all obviously have in droves, what's the most important thing? Okay, I think it's definitely, I, I know a lot of people say time management, and that's something that I really value. You wake up in the morning and you write your schedule. Like I have my planner right beside me right now. So you're just knowing what you have to do. But I think for me, something extra special, I guess you could say, is always remembering your why. So why am I studying so hard? Why do I want to go to university? And for me, that's, I want to achieve a higher education so I can ultimately help people through 
what I want to do, which is business. So I think when you keep yourself accountable and remember why you're doing these things, it really helps you stay motivated, even in times like this when there can be a lack of motivation. Uh, what you guys have all done here is unbelievable. Before we let you go, we got about a minute and a half, so we got to make this quick. I want to go uh, around the table here because this is just one chapter in your journey in life. There's, there's other things you want to do. Uh, let us know. I'm going to go down the list here. Let us know where, where you're going to school next and what you want to be. We got to make this quick, but I think it's important. Maya, where are you going to school? What do you want to be? Um, I'm going to Queen's University for the Commerce Program, and I'd love to um, become a CPA and also get an MBA. Mart Ooh. Martina, forgive me. we got to be quick. What's the next step for you? Uh, I'm going to Waterloo for uh, accounting and financial management, and I want to be a CPA, too. Nice. Awesome. Sarah, how about you? Um, I'm going to Western for engineering, and the future path is something with engineering. Yeah, that would make sense. Uh, and finally, Stephanie. What are you thinking? I'm going to the University of Toronto to study business at Rotman Commerce. Then I hope to get an MBA and become a manager at some point. Woo! Our future is bright wow. with these four young ladies at the helm. Wow. Let's go! How about that? Woo! How about that? To uh, Maya, Martina, Sarah, and Stephanie, uh, you have made a lot of people proud, especially in this past year under these conditions. God bless all of you, and thank you for joining us this morning. Best of luck going forward. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. Woo! That is a story there. Kidding me? We want to be like them when we grow up. More BT to come. Wow. Amazing. That is a level of discipline I do not have. No. <laughs> At any age. It was great.